Hey, I'm Max Makewell. I'm gonna walk you guys through a few steps of how I make my pieces. First thing I do is I like to sort of tune the piano, as it were. I like to figure out different colors, how they interact with paper and different color canvases. And then once that's kind of in a place that I like, then I like to start organizing the colors into sort of groups of relationships. And those create palettes uh, that I start working with to, to work with the concept. That's, that's the most beautiful yellow on earth. Working with the different colors, it, it opens up an opportunity to develop a, a vocabulary that exists on a painting. So the painting itself is a container, and inside of that there's vocabulary that describes very subtle moments or very loud moments. How you arrange those is kind of how you develop the, the tone of the piece. That's how I sort of start trying to describe something that's uh, very intangible with tangible visual elements. Now that I have a palette that I'm relatively content with, what I'll do is I'll start working on a larger piece and start really focusing on the gestural movement and also the, the balance between the positive and negative spaces and try to kind of organizing a, more of kind of like an emotional space for these colors to kind of exist in. Some of the process behind selecting colors and kind of knowing at what stages the piece is at, it's like no real piece is ever finished, just stops at good places. Unfolding the piece is always extremely gratifying and surprising. Um, at the same time, you get to kind of test to see what your imagination of what you thought it might look like is at. And the delta between those two, or the difference between those two, is uh, it's always the exciting part that keeps me coming back to make another. No two Rorschachs are identical and also the process is never identical as well. It's constantly growing and evolving and for me, you know, if you're not growing, what's the point? <laughs>